Hey, hey, welcome back to another super early Oscar prediction video. Today I'm gonna to be talking about the category of best supporting actress. So I'm gonna list out my top five in this category currently, who I think could be the possible winner, as well as go over some other actresses who are also in the conversation. All right, so we're talking best supporting actress. Let's just dive right in. So let's get into my top five list here. The first uh, actress on my list for best supporting actress is Michelle Williams, who is in The Fablemans. So The Fablemans is Steven Spielberg's big film coming out this year. It's one of the front runners um, in a lot of different categories, and I think it could play pretty big here in best supporting actress as well. The Fablemans is set in 1950s Arizona. Um, it is Spielberg's semi-autobiographical film that's coming out later this year. Um, it's basically about his upbringing. And so, Michelle Williams plays the character, basically Spielberg's mom in the movie. And so this is, seems like a really important role in a really big film that's coming out this year. So automatically, I think M Michelle Williams is in the conversation. The only pause that I have is thinking back to last year with Katrina Balfe. She plays the mother in Belfast, um, and she was the front runner in Best Supporting Actress for quite a while, for most of the year, I would say. When it came time for Oscar nominations, she didn't even make the cut there. So, and I'm still feeling really bitter about that. If Michelle Williams continues to be one of the front runners in this category uh, for most of the year and then doesn't even get nominated, I'm gonna be a little pissed. She's been nominated four times for an Oscar, but never won. So she's definitely due an Oscar at this point. She's had a lot of great performances. And with this being one of the expected bigger movies of the year, so I think she has a good shot um, for a nomination, if not a win. The second actress on my list is Lily Gladstone. And Lily Gladstone is in Killers of the Flower Moon, which is Martin Scorsese's film about the Osage murders in Oklahoma. So also expected to be a very big film. Lily Gladstone earned praise for her roles in movies like Certain Women and First Cow. So she's already had several roles, which she's gotten some recognition for. Um, although never any Oscar love. So she's playing one of the main characters in this movie and her style of acting is very subtle. It's extremely effective and it really draws you in. She's always able to communicate so much while doing so little, which is really hard to do, I think. There's a lot of buzz about this movie already with it being one of the bigger movies of the year, being a Scorsese film. Um, I think um, her being in this role, being in this movie, it's really gonna shine a light um, on her and finally give her some widespread recognition, which she definitely deserves. So I'm really excited about that. Lily Gladstone has never been nominated for an Oscar, and so this would be a first time nominee if she gets the nomination. The third actress in my top five is Laura Dern. Laura Dern is in Florian Zeller's film, The Sun, uh, coming out this year. And I mean, it's Laura Dern. Laura Dern! Laura Dern. Yeah! Okay, so sorry, but I'm sitting here editing this video and I just had to throw that clip in. Um, that song is hilarious. If you have not seen that whole clip, uh, just Google Laura Dern song and it'll pop up. Um, so funny. Okay, back to the actual video. She's having another big year. Um, another big movie that's coming out of hers is Jurassic World. So gonna hear her name thrown around a lot, um, but it's for this role in The Sun that I think she has a really good shot of being nominated. This film, uh, The Sun, is the second of Zeller's plays to be adapted for the screen. The first one, The Father, got six Oscar nominations. And Olivia Coleman was actually nominated for an Oscar um, in this category, in Best Supporting Actress. Dern has been nominated three times, but only won one Oscar, and that was for Marriage Story in 2020, so not too long ago. And the next actress on my list is Jessie Buckley. She's in the film Women Talking uh, by Sarah Polly. There are a lot of great actresses in this film, and I'm not too sure about category placement, where each one's gonna fall as far as lead actress or supporting actress, but I definitely feel strongly that Jessie Buckley's gonna be in the mix somewhere, and I'm guessing it's gonna be in the supporting actress. Uh, category. She has been on an absolute tear lately, like getting rave reviews for everything she's in. She was nominated just this past year for The Lost Daughter, and I have no reason to believe that her momentum is slowing down at all. So um, she's a really popular actress right now, and she's getting a lot of attention, so I think she has a good shot of being nominated. In a lot of ways, I feel like she's almost the opposite of an actress like Lily Gladstone, whereas Gladstone is more subtle and just a gentle rain that like slowly draws you in. Jesse Buckley is like a storm that just 
takes you over and no apologies. She's just a complete force and um, and I love that. She just totally dominates every scene that she's in and in a very good way, not in a bad way. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what she does in this film. So like I said earlier, uh, Jesse Buckley has been nominated for one Oscar and that was this past year for her role in The Lost Daughter. And the last actress in my current top five is definitely a wild card. And I I went back and forth with whether to put her in my top five or not. It's a total in the moment choice, but the next actress in my top five is Sadie Sink. And um, you might know her as Max from Stranger Things. Um, she is so great in that series. And I've been hearing a lot of talk lately about her getting an Emmy nomination for that role in Stranger Things. So with that being said, her name is being thrown around a lot and she's becoming more of a household name, getting a lot of recognition for her role in Stranger Things. But as far as film roles, Sadie Sink is in The Whale with Brendan Fraser uh, coming out this year. And so I think all this buzz about her relating to Stranger Things and the Emmys is only going to help her Oscar chances. So if this film is as good as people thinking it could be or might be, and Brendan Fraser starts getting a lot of momentum and traction, um, I think Sadie Sink could be right there with him. Uh, she could definitely be in that conversation. It totally depends on how this movie goes. There's definitely a chance that it could not go very far at all, and this prediction could be a total dud. But um, I definitely see a path, and yeah, I definitely could see Sadie Sink getting that nomination. She's a young actress. Um, it would be a first-time nomination. The Oscars always love to have some newbies in the group, uh, so she would definitely fit the mold there. Um, so yeah. So rounding out my top five with Sadie Sink. So just as a recap in my top five, Michelle Williams, Lily Gladstone, Laura Dern, Jesse Buckley, and Sadie Sink. So of those top five, right now my bet is on Michelle Williams. I think she has the track record just with the four nominations, um, never having won. Um, she's in one of the most anticipated films of the year. I, I just think she's doing Oscar and I think think this could be the role that she wins it for. So I'm gonna go with Michelle Williams as the winner in this category. So other actresses who could be in the conversation in this category, Best Supporting Actress, um, is Patricia Clarkson. She's in She Said. She plays the New York Times editor who helps break the uh, Weinstein story. Um, Hong Chao, um, another actress who is in The Well. She could definitely factor in here. Gene Smart is in Babylon, uh, Damien Chazelle's new film. Gene Smart has been so great and her career has really like skyrocketed in the past couple years. So it's mostly been around like TV series that she's been in, but so it'll be interesting to see if her recent Emmy success can translate to an Oscar nod perhaps. So I could see her factoring in here. Audra McDonald, who is in Rustin with Coleman Domingo could factor in here for sure. And also any of the other women in Women Talking. So. You know, Jesse Buckley is in my top five, but depending on the category placement, like I said, like Frances McDormand, Rooney Mara, Claire Foy, um, any of those women could factor in here for sure. So who really knows? But right now, sticking with Michelle Williams as the winner and hoping my top five stay strong. We'll see. So that's all I've got for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That really helps out my channel, so I'd appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one.